Well, good morning, everyone. Here we are again. The week quickly uh, going by. I'm going to read to you this morning from Matthew chapter 14. And we begin to read at verse 22. Mark, uh, Matthew 14, beginning to read at verse 22. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitude away. He just sped the 5,000 or more. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up to a mountain apart to pray and when the evening was come he was there alone but the ship was now in the midst of the sea tossed with the waves for the wind was contrary and in the fourth watch of the night Jesus went unto them walking on the sea when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. When Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him, and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying of a truth, Thou art the Son of God. Last year on my 73rd birthday, my son Mark took me out for a day's fishing a fishery uh, in Bosworth. It was a perfect day for sitting by the bank of a lake and enjoying the scenery and sport. But something happened uh, to me that has never happened before. I was bending over, unhooking a fish on the grass by the side of the water when I lost my balance and fell in up to my neck and shoulders, surrounded by reeds. It was not a pretty sight uh, to behold. Thankfully, Mark was not far away, and with the help of another kind fisherman, they pulled me out safely, but very wet. Thus ended my birthday treat and my mobile phone, and I've only had one outing. Uh, since then. In our reading, Peter, the fisherman and apostle of Christ, found himself up to his neck in water and had to be rescued, the circumstances of which was very different, of course, from mine. In a previous talk, the disciples uh, were crossing this inland lake or sea of Galilee when a storm blew up, threatening to sink their boat. But Jesus was there in the boat with them and saved the day. On this occasion, Jesus was up a mountain praying while his disciples once again were in deep trouble in their storm-tossed boat in the middle of the night, in the middle of the sea. In Mark's Gospel, however, we read 
in chapter 6 and verse 48 that help was not too far away because Jesus saw them struggling and went out to them walking on water. At first they thought he was some kind of phantom and greatly feared until Jesus cried out to them, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. As usual, Peter was the first to respond, and if Jesus could walk on water, so could he. Therefore, he beckoned Jesus to call him, to go to him, which Jesus did. All was going well until Peter got scared and took his eyes off the master and began to sink in the restless waves and had to cry out to him to save him, which Jesus, of course, did. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? You see, Thomas was not the only uh, doubter among the twelve. When both got into the boat, the wind ceased and the disciples on board praised and thanked Jesus, acknowledging him for who he was and ever will be the Son of God. Once again, we have another amazing tale in the life and experience of these fishermen disciples of Jesus and especially for their number one leader and spokesman Peter. Indeed it was a night of wonders for them all when their faith was once more tested uh, to the limit preparing them for the work that lay ahead after Jesus was gone from them. They learned here for a start that though Jesus was not in the boat to begin with, he never had them out of his sight and was watching them and praying for them so that they need never be afraid in whatever circumstances they found themselves in because he is always near. Not an easy lesson uh, for them as we read about in the days ahead or for any who follow after him. Nevertheless, how good it is to know that when we sometimes feel that Jesus is far away from us and unaware of what is happening to us, he is much nearer than we realise. Do we not have his promise in Hebrews 13 and verse 5? I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Also, there are times when we feel uh, fearful and doubting when facing those difficult and trying periods in our lives, such as the loss of a loved one, going into hospital for an operation, losing a job, not getting the expected exam results hoped for, being let down by a friend and so on, only to discover that these experiences can bring the Lord Jesus closer to us as he reaches out to us in love. The final lesson, and there's so many to learn from here in this remarkable incident, that like Peter, we are taught to keep our eyes fixed upon Jesus, lest we sink in a world so often filled with despair and frustration. Yet even when we do sometimes begin to sink, as Peter did, Jesus is there to lift us up, one ready, willing and able to forgive us our falling and failings, ready, willing and able to rescue us from those who would seek to pull us down in life and deflate us, ready, willing and able to lift up our spirits when we feel forgotten and forsaken. 
Jesus is the Son of God. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So let us worship him and ever look to him as such. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for the opportunity to consider your word. And we thank you that as always we are pointed to our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who has promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So Lord, we thank you that we can commit ourselves to you and to one who loves us with an everlasting love and know that we are indeed safe in the arms of Jesus. So Lord we commit ourselves on this day to you. We pray that you'll be with us, that you'll be with our loved ones and our friends, that you'll keep them safe. But most of all we pray Lord that you'll help us to keep our eyes fixed upon Jesus. Because we pray and ask this in his name. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks for listening in. Hope you'll join with us tomorrow for the last of our talks, God willing, on Fisherman Tales. <laughs>